Hey, this is Dr. Shota, Japanese behaviorist. One of the greatest things about being at a film festival is that you can watch short films. And short films are great because it's a place for experimentations for both ideas and techniques. And you can watch five or six of them at one sitting. Let me review some intriguing short films that I watched at HIF, including the second, directed by Taylor Ramos and Tony Joe, the creator of Every Frame a Painting. Hey, this is Dr. Shota, Japanese behaviorist. I am at the 44th Hawaii International Film Festival, and I am with uh, HIF Online Creatives and Critics Immersive. The first short film that I want to talk about is The Second, by the writer-director Taylor Ramos and Tony Joe. They are the creators of a very successful YouTube channel called Every Frame a Painting. If you're a movie fan, you have to check out Every Frame a Painting. Hi, my name is Tony and this is Every Frame a Painting. Every Frame a Painting is a YouTube channel that analyzes how different filmmakers use various techniques to convey emotions, stories, and deep meanings through visual storytelling. They're one of the first ones to use a video essay format and they have over 2 million subscribers. If you haven't visited their channel yet, you definitely have to do it because it's both entertaining and educational at the same time. Taylor Ramos and Tony Joe left their YouTube channel a while back and moved on to other um, projects such as Netflix Voir, which was uh, produced by David Fincher. And right now, they are going around different film festivals with their new short film, The Second. So they're one of those YouTubers that I look up to because they're both the film critics and YouTuber and at the same time they're a filmmaker. So I'm hoping that I can do the same thing with my channel as well. So let's talk about the second. It is a story in an alternative universe where dueling is still a part of the social justice system. Philip is a successful and respected man of tradition. When his son Danny is involved with a duel, Philip becomes the second to his only son. What is a second? A dueling second is a trusted representative who acts on behalf of a person who feels offended or dishonored in a duel. The second's main role is to try to resolve the issue without violence, but if that fails, they are responsible for carrying out the duel fairly and honorably. In this film, Philip the father becomes his son's second. This is obviously a father-son drama Philip is a well-established, successful man in his society, but he's not keen on his son's life. And the film shows this relationship very nicely. When Philip and Danny get into the car, Philip sees Danny, and Danny is a small child. And next time he sees Danny, he becomes a school-aged kid. And the third time he sees him, Danny is a young adult. Philip is confused because his son Danny transforms in the blink of an eye. And Philip's failure to recognize his son's growth will become a challenge in the during process. So Taylor and Tony said that they will post this short on their YouTube channel after they finish the festival tour. So when you watch the film, I want you to pay attention to the end of the film where Philip will say something to Danny and Danny has to make a decision on what to do based on what his father said. Because this decision is consequential to the ending. So when you look at this film, you can also look at this metaphorically. When you take away the alternative universe and when you take away the dueling, then what you are left with is the father-son relationship. And you can apply this to a modern day society as well your own relationship with your father or mother or son and daughter and you can sort of see what kind of problems this uh, Danny and Philip has 
how their relationship is, why their relationship is not working, and what causes Danny to get involved in the dueling in the beginning. In addition, Philip was played by Paul Sun Yang Lee, and Danny is played by Lee Sun Wang. Both of them were Korean Americans. So you can see the additional layer of Korean American uh, generation issues. The father may be the one who migrated to the US and the son might have been grown up in the United States and there may be a generational conflict between those two Korean Americans. We can go on and on talking about this story and we haven't even talked about the cinematography, uh, editing, visual effect, sound, anything like that. So even though a short film is only about 10 to 15 minutes, you can talk about it for hours and hours. It's definitely more bang for the buck. So let me also talk about some other films that are not worthy and the ones that I watched. Salmon's directed by Ken Chan, starring Jimmy O. Yang, Alexandra Shipp, and Donald Faison is a sci-fi dystopia comedy. You cannot go wrong with this lineup, right? I'm Not a Robot by Victoria Wamaram is a sci-fi drama set in the Netherlands. What's interesting about this uh, film is that the protagonist in the beginning tries to do this thing called capture so that she can get into, logged into some of the websites, but then she keeps failing, and that's when she begins to doubt whether she's a robot or not. It's a brilliant idea. Ik kom er niet doorheen. Heeft u de pagina al eens ververst? Uh, ja, een paar keer. Wat is er, liefje? En als u alles wegklikt en de boel weer even opnieuw opstart? Ja, ook al gedaan. Maar u komt er niet doorheen? Uh, nee, uh, daarom bel ik. Miss Alignment is a sci-fi drama about an android engineer directed by Pablo Rizgo. Our uh, Monasida. Do you consent to a shutdown? Do you consent to a shutdown? Yes. Do you consent to a shutdown? Yes. Do you consent to a shutdown? No. I can see the influence of the Blade Runner 2049 on this film. If you want to know more about what I said on Blade Runner 2049, check out that video as well. I also watched some uh, short films from the local filmmakers and a friend of mine, so I would also want to mention some of them. Puli is a story about a Hawaiian underground fight club. Shout out to one of the producers, Phil Schrieder. <laughs> Two Bless is about a Hawaiian girl surviving the apocalyptic Hawaii. Shout out to one of the co-writers of this film and a member of hockey program, Micah Arakawa. Actually protected us. This would have never happened to our home. Once in a Lifetime is about a young man trying to find an opportunity to be in the film industry. Shout out to the director Rick Branty, also uh, members of Leeward Community College and the members of Hawaii Filmmakers Collectives. Finalist for the Future Director's Apprenticeship Program. Brer, I'm really proud of you for keeping your job. Oscars here I come. That's the spirit. So there are so many more short films and features that I couldn't possibly cover and some of them are sold out, like Hawaiian, a lot of Hawaiian films are sold out and I couldn't even get into it with my uh, press pass. But other members of this hockey program uh, are covering those programs as well. So check out their articles on Hawaii International Film Festival website and HI Film blog. And I also put the link in the description section below. All in all, FIF had a great lineup of short films this year. The initial reason why I got into HIF was because I made a short film uh, last year. Yeah, I made a short film 
And so I started submitting my short film to different festivals. And at the, in, the, in this process, I discovered that I have to learn how the film festivals work. So when I found this opportunity to be a member of hockey program and do this video, I was excited because I could both make some YouTube videos and at the same time I could learn uh, what, how the film festival operates. So thank you so much for Hawaii International Film Festival and hockey program for giving me this opportunity. It was a really great experience to be here and be a part of the team. And hopefully my short film will get into some of the festivals so that I can see the film festival from the filmmaker's uh, point of view. And eventually I want to share my short film with you on the YouTube channel. So stay tuned on that as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Arigatou gozaimashita.